Hey everyone, my name is Kristen and I'm a special needs mom. I have lost 77 pounds on the keto journey. If you like what you see, could you please hit like and subscribe? I'm getting very close to 100 subscribers. If you are here for a keto video, this is about autism. I would love that you want to learn about autism, but if you don't, that's okay. I have another video for you. But for right now, I am talking about autism and my autism journey with my daughter. We went shopping at Target the other day and it was a lot of fun. Kira wanted to get a kingdom toy and we couldn't find the kingdom toy. She kept they looking and looking. They didn't have kingdom toys. She kept looking and looking Mom, and looking. Um, one minute, Kira. One you minute. Don't, you don't have kingdom toys. They didn't have kingdom toys. And kingdom toys are Lion King toys. So we yeah, went and we, she looked and looked and looked and we couldn't find them. And a few things happened here. She had to make choices. She, I, she wanted to get big chocolate, which is a bag, big bag of chocolate and one toy. And I, and I let her do this once a week to practice. And the reason I do this is it used to be a disaster when we went in the store and we would have to chase her around and, and she would go nuts and she didn't even know why we were there and it just was chaos. So we do this to practice and we also do this to um, desensitize her to sights and sounds and to get her talking. I mean, one thing that she couldn't do five years ago was talk. She basically, she made choices, she stayed with me, she talked and she still perseverates a ton and talk over and over and over and over. It's kind of like OCD, but it's autism. She talks about, in the video you can see her talking about Kingdom Toys over and over and over. Um, and then she wanted Cheez-Its. I wouldn't let her get Cheez-Its. She, and that's good because she used to have tantrums when she couldn't get what she wanted. So she's learning to accept things and understand that she can get them later. And these are all, this is all a huge progress. So I need all the toys. You need all the toys. Yes. She needs all the toys people. So Anyway, I just want to share this progress because it's really exciting for me. I really enjoy sharing her progress. I'll go find down there. Come on. Are you going to push the cart? That's the cart. You want Mama to push the cart or are you going to push the cart? Daddy has cart. I bring that at home. You can't bring that home. It, it's sleeping at the store. It stays at the store. That's right. It sleeps here. Yes, the cart stays here. It's sleeping up. It sleeps at the store, yes. The cart is going to sleep. It does sleep. Wow. What's it, girl? Okay, you need to go that way. The boys sleep at the store. The mannequins? Yes, the mannequins sleep at the store. What are you doing? You want some bars? Go ahead. Yeah. You're going to get those? I want One. I want cheese it. I don't see cheese it. We have. Kingdom toys. Well, we're going to the Kingdom toys. Come on. Kira will have more. They'll have more what? Kira. No, put those back. I need cookies. Kira, no. Put them back. We're not I'm, getting. I'm, we're not getting cookies. I want you already you said you wanted chocolate. Oh, what was that? Kingdom toys. 
Did you find them? Those are not kingdom toys. Did you find them yet? I want to go to the different store. Kingdom toys. Keep looking. They are at the store. Look down here. Or is this baby toys? This, this is baby toys. It's okay. We'll find something. Come on. You come with me? What's wrong? Are you going to cry? Um, no. Kingdom toys. We'll find some online and Mama can get you some online. Kingdom toys. I know. Where'd they all go? Kira, say thank you. We do play toys. You do? Can you say thank you? Thank you. Welcome. I want cheeses. Well, we're not getting cheeses today. I'll buy a dog book. No, we're not buying a dog book today. We already got chocolate and a dog and coloring. I'll buy toys next week. Next week, yeah. Okay. What did you get today? Toy. What kind of toy? Can you show me? I see. What that. did you get? What did you get? There. Doggies? There. And a Barbie? How there. many are there? Four. Four Barbie dogs. Do you they, like it? They don't have four. They do have four. They did. They don't have these. Okay, let's go on. In the end, you can see that she accepted that we couldn't find the kingdom toys and she made a different choice. So these are all huge milestones for Kira that she has made. Another thing I want to share is her language development is has come a long way and I expect it to keep going because she's thinking. Like she talks out loud. I and have five toys. Yeah. And she doesn't stop talking. <laughs> there are two things that I noticed that she said for the first time the other day. Okay? One was she said that we needed money to buy, buy toys. So that was it. That's new. Like she's she's starting to make that connection. I'll buy markers. Yeah, we need to wait till next week to buy markers. So she's making that connection. She's making the connection that there's a way to get toys and you can't just get them because you want them. The toys. Not all the toys. So she's doing that Mom. next year, sweet girl. And then the other thing is, is this has nothing to do with toys. She said to me, and I let, and I make a mental note every time they, she just does something that's brand new to her. Me. Yes, Kira. Okay, one minute. She said to me, you are not wearing your hair down. You put your hair up. So she's noticing things and she's starting to I say those things out loud. And... Mm -hmm. As much as it annoys me sometimes, which it does annoy me, <laughs> as much as it annoys me at times that she talks out loud. Okay, Kara, one minute. Can mommy say one thing? And I, I have to ask her this all the time because it's nonstop. Barbie will change. Yes, Barbie will change. Okay, so as much as it annoys me, I remember as clear as day, the one, the day that I walked out of the room and I came back in because she was sleeping in my bed and she was almost five. As clear as a bell, as a whistle, her saying, hi mama. I remember that day. And I don't know, it's hi and mama. Like she didn't even say mama. She was almost five. So, so she's 10 now and it's been five years and it's slow coming, but any little development is exciting. As frustrated as I get because I want to get a word in edgewise. It's so exciting to see these developments. So I want to share them with the world. And that's what I'm doing.